Today on our 2013 Jeep Patriot, we'll be doing a quick test fit of the Thule Passage Trunk Mounted 2 Bike Rack, part number TH910XT. We'll begin our test fit by placing the rack up onto the rear hatch, or excuse me, the rear bumper. Now the bottom portion of the rack does need to be placed on the upper tier of the rear bumper here. And then we'll just make sure that the rack is centered um, onto the back windshield. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is just use the top hooks and clip them to the top part of the rear hatch. This is just gonna help make sure that the rack will stay in place while I continue to move around the rack and install the other clips. Now I'm not gonna tighten these all the way, just gonna get them nice and snug, again, just to help me keep them in, in place. Now the side strap and the bottom strap is um, all connected. So I'm gonna do the side first and come down and actually I'm gonna do the bottom. There is this foot plate here that gets in the way so you are gonna have to open up the rear hatch to get it in place. Insert that in, pull it tight. And again, not too tight. You don't wanna offset the rack. We're just doing this just to get everything in place. This up a bit, and we'll pull the strap tight, and snug this down just a little bit. And then now, once you get them, once you get them snug, remember that the rear hatch is not closed all the way because we had to open them. So I'm gonna snug this down just a little bit. I'm just gonna secure them now. So everything all secured. Then what I'm gonna do is just secure the excess strap. Whether you tie it off or you use uh, the hook and loop fasteners, but today I'm just gonna get this out of the way and then we'll move on to loading up our bike. Once you get all the strap secured, you can see the arms are stowed down. What we'll need to do is push in the silver tab here and swing the arms out into the bike loading position, like so. And then we'll undo the rubber cradle straps and load up our bike. Simply just place the bike into the cradles, just double check to move these out of the way. And once you get it in place, I like to start with the anti-sway strap, just to make sure the bike is pushed forward as far as possible. Bring this strap around and secure it, followed by the two rubber straps go around the top. With our bike all loaded up, that'll complete today's test fit of the Thule Passage Trunk Mounted 2 Bike Rack. Part number TH910XT on our 2013 Jeep Patriot.